Look how beautiful the line is. Look at this line. Look at this line. Look at this line. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Hello beautiful people from the internet. I am working on a beautiful quilt right now. Uh, I'm also <laughs> doing embroidery work. I did embroidery work all this morning. And I'm giving myself time to come up here and do work here. I'm doing a couple really large quilts. So a large quilt usually takes me a full day. Well, a good couple hours. How's that for you? And so I'm going to be working on her and I'll show you what she looks like. So this is the quilt. She is made beautifully. Beautiful quilting. One of the things I'm really working on right now is making myself a list and categorize it like embroidery, vinyl, quilt clients. And when you have such a sweet light quilt like this, you need to use some sweet light thread. I found that sometimes I forget <laughs> that I may have a couple quilts in bins and so once a client comes and or a quilt comes in I write it on my list so that it's visible I don't know sometimes I get so overwhelmed that my brain shuts off and I think I have nothing to do when I have like a whole bunch of stuff to do and so writing myself a long arm quilting list really does help me can you see how beautiful the quilted line is? Also, it helps me, me get my hair, deal with clients that are micromanager clients. And I think I have the hardest time with these clients because I have control issues. <laughs> I cannot stand it when people try to control me. And, uh, but I have clients that will try to micromanage me and they say take your time and then they're texting me like a day later. It's just, I think it's one of the most annoying parts of working for people. But yeah, so let me write down my list right now and get myself right going. And then one thing that really does help me too is scratching off names off the list. It makes me feel so accomplished. It's such a wonderful thing for me when I just I love it beautiful check the bath fabric that's right there make sure that there's nothing in the back fabric the batting is nice and flat Lately, I tried to at least scratch something off of this list so that I could get stuff done. I also now am having a digitizing list. Digitizing list. Because sometimes digitizing stuff for embroidery takes as much time as doing the embroidery. And um, yeah, I have to do a list on that. beautiful this line is. Look how beautiful the line is. Look at this line. Look at this line. Look at this line. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Do you see this line? Do you see how beautiful this line is? Beautiful. We want the beautiful line like this. Look at that. Ah, ah. That's how beautiful. Every time I roll the quilt, this is how flat and beautiful it should roll. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but it's okay. It doesn't happen. But that's that beautiful line. Let me show you that line. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Delicious. And it's crisp and straight that line is. Eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. eh, eh. Straight line. 
Look how clean and straight that line is. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Straight line. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, 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 ooh. Straight line. Straight line. Ooh, 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 ooh. Straight line. Straight line. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you can tell I don't have a life. If I'm excited about straight lines. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My hair. I don't know what to do with it. You have to have readers when you're old. <laughs> We're on row three. And look at this. Still beautiful straight line. Why is that important? I spend less time fiddling with the quilt because the line is well made. I also have better success of quilting it. It just comes out beautiful. So, yeah, I don't have to worry about ironing it. Look at that. I don't have to worry about pleats, folds, nothing. I just have to worry about quilting it. And she's quilting beautifully. She is using muslin in the back, back here. But it's still, mwah, this quilt is delicious. And let me just be clear, quilts that are warped, not done well, it's okay. But as a business aspect, they take longer. They literally add maybe two hours to an hour and a half. As a matter of fact, I just had a quilt recently and she was so weird that <laughs> I finished her but I was exhausted because I had to iron, pray to Jesus for the God to help me <laughs> because when I rolled the quilt, every time I rolled the quilt, I saw it warped and it made me panic, it stressed the hell out of me. I went downstairs after I finished it and kind of reconsidered my life again because <laughs> the worst thing is, is Quilting a quilt that's, and the client doesn't understand, and they don't know that it's because they gave you the quilt, they expect it to be done well, because you're the professional. And so, this kind of quilt is just like, easy, less stressful. They're fun to quilt. I have another king size quilt that's hers. Sometimes when I have hard quilts, I don't want to quilt the next quilt they made because they're like, oh my God. This quilt, it's a king size quilt. It's huge, it's beautiful. If she did this to that one, I'm excited to quilt that one too because I'm not gonna be stressed out. That's a big thing. Don't be stressed out. Ignore my mess. <laughs> oh. Gonna scratch her off my list. Let my hair grow out. Wait. She's pretty. She's hot though. Hot hair. Eh, eh. 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 